Hey everyone, uh, here are the sales from Monday. Not a whole lot, but sold some cool stuff. I'm actually using my new phone today, so it might be a little bit different. Um, this is the Samsung 9 Galaxy 9 Plus. Um, so pretty cool, excited about this. Hopefully it'll make for better pictures and better videos. Definitely a better uh, phone than I had before. So here's another Cuisinart DLC8 lid here. Um, right there. I just sold one yesterday, I think it was, for 35 shipped, and this one as well for 35 shipped. I paid 15 for this unit, so I got 35 for that, I'll get 10 for the pusher. I came with a blade that I'll get 20 or so for, and then the bowl I'll get 35, and then a couple other extra blades and the stem I think I already sold. So 15 is about the most I want to pay for those, but happy with that. Um, here's some Commodore manuals. I have to double check because I may have only sold four of these ones in this lot. I couldn't remember if they were all five included, but um, this lot sold for $29.99, whatever four or five are included. So that was great. They came out of a $5 Commodore 64 manual guide Lund bundle that I made. And I've already sold a bunch of individual pieces. I sold one of these for $15, another one for $20, and another two, I think, for $15 and $20 bucks as well, or $22 or something like that. So happy with that. Awesome deal. These are Chevy center caps. I hope they're legit. The guy said they came off his Chevy. There's the logo. It says GM on the back. I looked up the part number, and it matched the ones on um, online, but I don't know. This feels a little off to me, but I sold them for 50 bucks. I had paid 3 bucks for them, so or 4 bucks, a dollar each, so that was pretty cool. Here's a bunch of kind of just not good Game Boy Advance games. These came out of a lot that I bought for 5 bucks. I bought it for uh, the case that it came with as well as... Um, a Guitar Hero dongle that I sold for like 15 So I ended up selling all these for $13.50 on a best offer. Free shipping. Happy to get rid of them. They're not worth a whole lot. This is a really old listing. These are three um, Winnie the Pooh old, I think like 60s or 70s um, plushes. I had an one more, but it got all beat up and I had to throw it away. I sold these for 30 bucks shipped. I've had them for a long time. I'm really happy to get rid of them. Paid five, so... Glad for those to be gone. And then lastly, a Star Wars THX widescreen VHS set. Um, paid five bucks for this and sold it for 23 shipped. So it'll go media. Happy about that. Hope you guys enjoy. And if anything else sells, I'll let you know. Hey everyone, here are the sales from Tuesday. Pretty good day. One thing hasn't paid yet. Uh, some golf clubs. Actually a big sale, 150 for some Nike clubs. Hopefully they'll get paid for tonight or tomorrow. We'll have those to show you. No real clothing items aside from the shoes, if you want to call them that. So clothes are still kind of slow, but hard goods are doing well. Uh, first off, the electronics, $20 Sony Walkman. I probably paid a buck or two for this. Um, I usually get about 20 for these basic ones. Um, no headset or anything. Has some scuffs on it. Got 20 bucks shipped. Uh, this is a unit in Bearcat. I think it's the BC60 XLT. Yep. Um, a little sticker there I didn't take off. This one I came out of a $15 electronics lot. Comes with the antenna. Had some, actually it had, I'll show you what was on it. This little lion was like glued on there. I don't know, I guess this guy thought he, a bunch of his stuff had these little lion things on it. So I got it off, you can kind of see what he did. Um, I cleaned it up the best I could, but I listed all that was still there. Uh, I, I lowered the price to something you know, a bit lower than what they normally go for because of the damage, but sold it for 38 shipped, so that's cool. Probably go first class or a padded flat rate. Here's a Presto Potato Twister um, blade. I bought one for a dollar at a garage sale for the whole unit, but it was missing one piece, and then I parted out three of the pieces. So far, I sold two of them. This sold for like 14. The um, plastic, clear plastic one sold for 15, I think, and I got one left that'll probably sell for 15, so... Pretty good deal there. These are four Coors Extra Cold Draft head covers for golf. You can see they have some damage on them. Definitely not perfect condition. I paid three bucks. I thought they would go um, for like 25 or 30. I thought, man, I could probably get that. But they sat and sat and sat and sat. I've had a bunch of offers around 20. That's about as high as anyone's willing to go. Someone came through today and did a $20 offer, and I just took it. I want to get rid of them. So happy to move it. They'll ship first class. We'll definitely make some good money, but um, probably should have took the 20 long ago instead of having them sit this long. These are some, like, Rachy or Rachy, I don't know, Rachy 
boots made in Switzerland. You can tell the bottoms look pretty darn good, in my opinion. You can tell the tops have some, you know, scuffs and scratches. Missing the insole in there. Um, you know, a pretty good, like, solid work boot, though, it looks like. I think I paid 25 or 30 bucks for these at Savers. Because sometimes these boots sell for over $100. Um, I actually sold mine for $149. i am not sure. I mean, it seems a bit crazy. So, and I listed them not in great condition. I had them at a huge number, hoping to get a low offer on it that I would accept. But someone came out with a $149 offer, and I took it. They're going to Washington, so hopefully they'll enjoy it. And then lastly, a pretty big sale, uh, Zoltan. This is like a Halloween-type, maybe, um decoration thing it's got the plug right there we plug in and if you're in the, within the sensor range he will start talking he lights up the skull lights up and the curtains are supposed to open and he begins talking and telling you stuff i guess you can also hit the button down here if you set it to just the button and you hit the button and he'll do the same thing problem is the curtains actually stay open a lot of these ones break because the gear that opens the curtains get damaged so you most people either Take it apart and open it up and just pull the curtains to the side or they can fix the gear. Um, and also the where the power goes in the back, um, there's some kind it's kind of fidgety where it has to be in the right position for it to work. If it's facing a certain way, it won't work. So um, like a little power adapter piece. So I listed that, said it really needs repair and it sold for 130 on a best offer. They go for 200 sometimes. Some people even get 200 plus like 40 or 50 shipping if it's like a mint working one. So it's going to Washington, I think, or Oregon, something like that. Um, I don't know, but somewhere fairly close. So I took the offer. It will still probably cost me like 30 bucks, 40 bucks to ship it. I paid 10 a long time ago and took forever to list it. I just left it on the shelf, but happy to get rid of something this big. Hopefully it'll go to a good home and they can fix it and there's no issue. So that's it, guys. I'll let you know if anything else else. Take Hey guys, uh, sales from Wednesday, kind of a light uh, quantity wise, but had one really good one and some solid sales, so we can't complain too much. Hopefully there'll be some more before the night's over. It's like 10 o'clock right now, so wanted to show you before I pack them up. Uh, this is a Biddeford blanket control. I find these all the time, usually in electronic bins or sometimes you find them with the blanket. You, if you have the blanket, you can actually test them, but if you don't, you can really just plug them in and see if it powers up. Um, the newer ones have a little digital display, and it'll power up, and then it'll show a little error because it's not plugged in. That's about as far as I can test them. I've shipped out probably 5 to 10 so far, somewhere between probably like 7, I think. Um, and I've had one that the person said it worked, and then it didn't work after like the third try, so I gave them a refund, uh, refund for that. But the rest of all work, no issues. So I usually pick these up for only a buck or two. They ship usually in a pad of flat rate. There are other one, different um, styles of ones, but this is kind of the older brand. Um, this is an Adidas uh, Boston Marathon 2013 jacket. It has a couple of stains on um, one of the sleeves and on one of the, the collar. It's not too bad, but it's definitely there. I listed it. This sold full price, 35 shipped. I was thinking I might get like a 20 to $25 offer, but had it for a little while and then someone paid full price. So cool. Here's Adobe Acrobat 8. Um, this is the software disc. Uh, there also is um, the CD key in there. That sold for 30 shipped. I've sold the same one before for about that price, no issue. And lastly, Ice Road Chuckers. I think there's six seasons here um, out of, I think there's seven or eight in total. I'm not sure, but I was missing, I think, one or two. The, I paid 20 bucks for these plus some other uh, DVDs. And these sold for 90 full price sale. Um, I even had best offer on there, thinking I might take 60 to 70, but someone came through and bought the whole thing for 90. So that's awesome. If anything else sells, I'll let you guys know. Take hey everyone. Here are the Thursday sales. It's on the floor today because it's chaos. i um, been rearranging this room and stuff's just kind of everywhere. So I'm making a lot of progress. It looks a heck of a lot better, but I still have a lot of stuff still to go through and get rid of and everything. So here are the sales though. Um, starting off, these are um, Story Keepers DVDs. That's what they look like. I thought there were 12 in the set, but they're 13, I believe. I was at a thrift store by my work, and um, they had these 12. I thought they were only 12. They wanted two bucks a piece. Um, I ended up saying, hey, would you? I bought all 12. Would you sell them to me for half off? The manager came out and she's like, yeah, sure, just get rid of them. So 
I think I probably missed one of them. That must have been there, and I just didn't see it. Because it seems odd that someone would have just been missing one. I think it's number 11 that's missing. Um, and I didn't pay enough attention. But still got a good deal. Paid 12 bucks for them and sold them for 65 shipped. So that was pretty cool. These are a pair of Allen Edmonds Byron. I think I showed these in one of my other videos. They're pretty good size here. Uh, what was it? 13? Yeah, 13. Um, these I paid like 20 something for. I bought a whole bunch of stuff from a storage unit guy. I think these were about 20 bucks. Sold them for 90 ships. So that's pretty cool. They are in pretty good shape, if you can see. They're not too bad. A little toe creasing there, and then on the bottoms, a little wear, but still nice and firm. So happy with that. Um, over here, this is an old listing. It's a bunch of Ellie Drake um, self help type stuff, is what I call it. Um, this stuff right here, I don't know what I paid. It came out of a big lot. I think I paid maybe 10 for everything. I sold a bunch of Anthony Robbins stuff out of there, and then this was kind of the leftover. And Joyce Meyer was in there, so that was the leftover stuff. It finally sold for 20 bucks full price. Happy to get rid of it. A couple little small sales. Uh, PS2 Slim Multi-Tap here goes to a PS2. This sold for uh, 15 and then this is a Radica big screen solitaire. These sell well. This sold for 20 and the backlight's broken. I thought I'd get a best offer on it, but someone actually paid full price. It clearly said backlight's broken and the title and everything, so hopefully no issue. PS2 game, pretty good one to look out for. Dot Hack, Mutation Part 2. Some of them, have, people have sold theirs for like 20 or 15 bucks. I listed mine a little bit higher, sold it for 30 shipped. So on video games, if you know it's something pretty cool, don't be afraid to... Listed a little bit higher and weight on it. Um, and then lastly, these are the Nike golf clubs I bought the other day. These are um, left-handed uh, slingshot, I believe, Nike clubs. Nike clubs seem to sell really well. Uh, I don't know why. Um, in my opinion, they're not the best clubs out there. You know, Titleist and all of them are a lot better. But the Nike ones seem to sell faster for me. Maybe there's just not as many or people just love Nike, but... These are more like a senior set, I believe, um, based on my research. And I paid, there's seven clubs here. I paid 14 bucks or 20 bucks, something like that for all of them. And then uh, maybe there were eight clubs, I don't know. And then I uh, took a, or sold them for full price, 150 bucks. Uh, to get them clean, they look pretty good. What I did was I took a magic eraser to them, a little bit of water, and then it usually cleans them up pretty nice. Uh, magic eraser is like the best tool to clean anything with, it seems. I can get scuffs out of all kinds of video games. Um, you can get sticky residue off, different things. So that was pretty cool. These got cleaned up nice. We'll ship them out. We'll probably spend, I'm guessing, 15 to 20 on the shipping for these. Maybe more if it's going somewhere far, but we're making plenty of money. So that's it. If anything else sells, I'll let you guys know. Take hey, guys. Here's another uh, sale real quick that sold late last night, Thursday. These are women's Harley Davidson um, boots. Pay ten bucks for them. Honestly, pretty good shape. You can see a little bit of creasing there to the leather, but overall, pretty good use condition for ten bucks. Um, these sold for sixty ship full price. I had best offer on them, thinking I'd probably take fifty or so, but someone came through and bought them full price. So awesome. So pack them up, and I'll show you the weekend sales next. Hey guys, these are the sales from the weekend. Pretty good weekend. Um, good mix of stuff, I should say. And pretty good on the dollar amount, so can't complain. Only a few clothing items. Uh, two jerseys. This is a Randy Moth Youth Raiders jersey. Uh, this sold for 18 shipped. And this is also Randy Moth Vikings jersey. This one's a men's, like a large, I think. Or maybe extra large, I don't remember. But um, sold that one for 20 the other one for 18 So happy about that. Paid 5 on the $18 one. Paid like 4 on the $20 one. This is a tie here. I don't think it's, I think it's actually South Carolina, not USC is in Southern California. So, um, color wise, I think it's not USC colors. So I listed it as South Carolina Gamecocks because there was another one that was similar and it sold for 20 bucks. That McFarland Detroit Red Wings, uh, figure set brand new. I paid four bucks for it, I believe. And I sold it for 40 shipped. Um, this was a really cool one. I paid a dollar for a box of knives and a bunch of stuff in the state sale. I don't know why the price was so cheap. Look out for these Dexters, the big like butcher type knife ones. Actually, many brands, that, if it's a decent name, that's a big knife like this. Um, you can kind of get a comparison. There's a DVD case right there, so you can see how, or an Xbox case, you can see how big that knife is. 
Um, these things do really well. So a dollar for a bunch of that stuff, and I sold this one by itself for 45 with the condition issues. So pretty cool there. Uh, these books, Survival Series, had them for a little while. They do pretty well. I didn't. I wish I would have had more in this set. Um, I had 19, and I sold those for 40 bucks. Uh, Nintendo Wii system with the Wii Motion Plus thing, nunchuck cords, and a manual. Sold that for 45 shipped. Uh, Finding Nemo storybook ornament set. Paid five for this. You can see the case is beat up, but the ornaments are all in there. They look good. Sold that for 40 shipped on the best offer. Bible storybooks. I think I paid like 15 bucks, sold those for 50 Yeah, 50 Uh Three Polaroids went to Retrospect. This one I paid, I paid actually 10 for all three. This one has some damage here. Still sold it for 21 shipped to Retrospect. This one is good shape, just some scuffs for 28 And this is a Polaroid. Look out for this one. This is the cool cam, the pink and gray one I think it is. It's got a broken strap. It came undone there. But this one sold for 43 to Retrospect. I have one more camera I got this week that I'm going to excuse me, list tonight or tomorrow morning. Hopefully it'll sell and then I can pack all four up together and save on the shipping. Pack of ink for $21. I paid a buck for that. Minecraft came out of a lot that I got. Sold that for $13. Harman Carmen, Harman Carden Remote. Paid a buck or two for this and it sold for $30 shipped. And then another pair of Christian Dior kind of older glasses. I guess she just wants the frame. She says she doesn't want the their prescription ones anyway. So um, that works out for me. So I sold those for 45 And then these are a bunch of brass um, door pulls. Drawer pulls. Kind of hard to see. But I'll take one out and show you. I don't remember if they were the hall that we were. 